Hello, my name is Mark Young and I'm the lead evangelist at Massey Ministry and I am coming to you today for our uh, City Fest Marietta evangelism training for our festival friends and our volunteers. Now, I might, you might say, Mark, what do you mean by festival friends? Well, festival friend at Massey is no more than a prayer counselor. But we don't want you to feel that you're a counselor. You want you to be a friend to those who are seeking Jesus or those that have left, ran away from Jesus. And we're asking you to, one, go through a quick training, and you're going to watch a very short video. And then once you watch that video, you'll be able to go on to our website, thehillcityfest.com. What we ask that you do is, one, you're going to watch the video, and then it kind of teaches how to share your testimony in one minute. And then you'll be able to find out how to fill out the information when I come back to you in the other video. One, one thing you to understand about being a festival friend, you first should know in your heart John 3.16, which says, God so loved the world that he gave his only God begotten son that those who believe in me, everyone should be saved. And we're praying that you have that in your heart. Second of all, that you would know how to lead uh, anyone into a sinner's prayer and then third of all that you would know how to share your testimony so we want you to know these things and we're going to lead you through a quick video of showing how to share your testimony in one minute and then knowing how to pray with people and this way you'll be able to lead them into a conscious decision on their own to follow Jesus Christ so I ask that you watch this video and we'll be right back after the video for part two of the training and then we'll tell you what you do from there on. Thank you for watching and enjoy the video. My name is Greg Steer. I'm the founder of Dare to Share and we train teenagers how to share their faith, how to share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. One of the things I've noticed is a lot of teens and adults for that matter don't share their faith because they don't exactly know how. They don't know how to bring it up. How do you actually get into a spiritual conversation? Or maybe they know how to bring it up, but they don't know how to explain the gospel. So I'm gonna give you a very quick crash course in how to share the gospel. So how do you bring it up? It starts with a simple strategy called ask, admire, admit. You ask questions, you get to know somebody. Jesus asked a lot of questions. Uh, we need to ask a lot of questions. We need to love people by listening to them and uh, kind of find out who they are, what they're about. And then you can take the turn towards spiritual subjects. You know, do you go to church anywhere? Or do you have a spiritual background, a religion that you uh, believe? And, and as they begin to share, you find areas you can admire. For instance, maybe they're a Mormon. Say, well, you know what? I, man, I really appreciate you guys focus on the family. Or see your missionaries everywhere, hard at work. Instead of starting an argument, find areas you can admire. And then finally admit the reason you're a Christian is you're so messed up you needed someone to save you, and that someone is Jesus. And right there, you can tell your story of how you came to Jesus, and then you can share the gospel story. And at Dare to Share, we use a simple acrostic that I would really challenge you to memorize, all right? Because it walks you through the whole gospel story. G-O-S-P-E-L. G, God created us to be with Him. God loves us, He cares about us, He made us to be in a relationship with Him. And that, oh, our sins separate us from God. Because we sin, we're separated from God. He's pure and holy and righteous, and we're not. And there's a wall between us and a holy God. And that S, sins cannot be removed by good deeds. Uh, you know, you can try living a good life and going to church, uh, but it just covers up our sinfulness. It's like putting white frosting on a burnt cake. P, paying the price for sin, Jesus died and rose again. That Jesus died in our place for our sins on the cross. It's almost as though if you're walking across the street and a truck's coming at you 100 miles an hour and, and somebody sees you're about to get hit, you don't notice that truck, they run out, they push you out of the way and boom, the truck hits them instead. They would have died in your place. In the same way, the wrath of God was headed at us, but Jesus pushed us out of the way and he took the hit instead of us. He died in our place for our sins on the cross and he rose again. Now E, everyone who trusts in him alone has eternal life. It's not by trying, it's by trusting. It's not a matter of good deeds, it's a matter of what Jesus has done on the cross. So you trust in him, you receive everlasting life. And L, life with Jesus starts now, lasts forever. You enter into a personal, permanent relationship with God. So walk through the gospel, and then two closing questions. Number one, does that make sense? Uh, if it doesn't, explain it again. If it does, move on to the next question. Then is there anything holding you back right now from putting your faith in Jesus? If there is, deal with that something. Try to help them navigate through that. 
If there's not, right then and there, they can put their faith and trust in Jesus. You can lead them uh, through a prayer if you'd like, saying a prayer. It doesn't save anybody, but it's a nice way to kind of put an explanation point on the gospel, telling God today, I believed in Jesus. And obviously after that, we want to get them plugged into church and growing in their faith, not because they have to to go to heaven, but because they're going to heaven. So how do you bring it up? Ask, admire, admit. Memorize the G-O-S-P-E-L, go through the gospel. Those two closing questions, does that make sense? Is there anything holding you back right now from putting your faith in Jesus? So now you got a crash course in sharing your faith. Now I challenge you, go and share the good news. All right, I pray that you actually enjoyed the video and I pray that God really pierce your heart with something to actually lead when you hit out to either your city or even to the City Fest. So what do you do now? So now that you've uh, watched the video, I want you to go on to the Hill City Fest, uh, www.hillcityfest.com and go to the Contact Us page and send us an email saying, I am ready and equipped to go. You can just put your name and your email address and say, I am ready and equipped to go. Or you can just simply email us at hill, H-E-A-L-C-I-T-Y, fest at gmail.com and give us that information. Now, once you've done that, we ask that you come on Friday night, September the 21st, at the Marietta High School parking lot in Marietta, Georgia from 6 to 9 p.m. And you come over to the Massey registration tent. And this is where we're gonna actually give you all the information you would need for Saturday. And uh, what we'll be doing there is giving you your lanyards and kind of going over briefly with your decision-making cards that we would ask that you make sure that they're filled out very legibly so we can actually take them and put it in the bucket and we'll be able to follow up with those people who have made a conscious decision for Christ. Second of all, once you got your, your lanyard, you got your information decision making card, we want you to meet and greet your festival director. So every area, whether it's the hospitality, the, the kid zone, whether it's the stage area, whether it's cleanup, where it's the prayer tent, we want you to meet the festival director that will be over that. So you would, that would happen on Friday where you can build a relationship with them and then you'll be ready for Saturday. Saturday morning, we ask that you report if you're coming to the prayer walk at eight o'clock at First Presbyterian Church of Marietta. And if you're not gonna make it to the prayer walk, or just say you couldn't even make it Friday, make sure you be at the square no later than 9.30 at the Massey registration table or Massey tent to get your information. That is September the 22nd at the Marietta Square. So once again, if you're gonna make it on September 21st at the Marietta High School, that's between six and nine. If you're gonna make it to the First Presbyterian Prayer Walk, that's gonna be at eight o'clock at First Presbyterian Church of Marietta on September the 22nd. And if you can't make any of that, we want you to make at this at the Marietta Square on September the 22nd, no later than 9.30. And then we also are not gonna have you serving all day for our volunteers. So we have three different shifts, 10 to one, one to four, and then, I mean, one to five, and then we're gonna uh, do five to seven, or one to four, and then four to seven. So we want you to uh, pick out the shift you want and uh, pick out the shift you can make it to, and we would love to see you there. So I ask one thing, just know, just as Matthew 7, 7 and 8 says, knock and Jesus will open. He, God said knock and he, and he shall open. Knock on the door, he will open. Seek and you will find. So we pray that you walk with us and remember, PPI, pray, promote, and invest. Pray, promote, and invest for City Fest. We love you, God bless you, and you have a blessed day.